Let's talk a little bit about why the lack of silence is killing us. One thing I noticed when I first started out doing music production full-time, which was this past May 2020, is that I would have some terrible burnout certain weeks. After working three to four weeks non-stop, I wouldn't be able to concentrate on anything. I just felt defeated, and I didn't want to put any more effort into what I was doing. I talked a lot about this on the podcast episode I did on Bastards of Art with Matt Hodel. We talked about how I have a cyclical work cycle where I'll do really good work for one or two weeks, slow down a little bit the third week, and then just have a total crash and burnout the fourth week, and I'll need a few days to recoup and get my energy back so that I can start working on new music and start working on marketing my music again. One of the main reasons that I found this was happening is because I wasn't getting enough silence during the day. Let me know if this kind of schedule sounds anything like what you do. Get up early in the morning, maybe do a workout, listen to some music while I go run, listen to some music while I lift weights, or listen to music while I go on a walk outside. After working out, do some work on music. If I'm not doing work on music, talking to people on social media while also listening to music. Then I'll do a shower and of course I'll have music playing or a podcast playing. Eat lunch while listening to a podcast or listening to YouTube videos. After lunch, do some more work on music. Then the evening comes, have dinner while watching a couple of episodes of How I Met Your Mother. And then getting ready for bed, listening to another podcast about music marketing or music production itself. So what's the common theme between all of these things? Well, I was listening to something the whole time, either learning constantly or having some sort of stimulation at every single point during the day, whether it's when I'm working or when I'm just relaxing. The first side effect that this started causing was lack of sleep. I would have so many thoughts that I wasn't paying attention to during the day because I was listening to something or my brain was focused on something external and by the time night came around, when I finally had room to think, my brain couldn't stop thinking. I was thinking for two hours and I couldn't fall asleep, thinking about things that happened throughout the day, thinking of new song ideas, but just thinking. Like my mind was going so crazy because it didn't have any time to just be by itself during the day. That of course led to things like not getting enough sleep and so I'd be tired and I wouldn't be able to focus very much and that would just cause my burnout to hit really bad. And then when I finally took the days off, I was taking more walks. So now I'm just imagining what kind of effects does this have on the human race or the United States specifically because we're constantly getting stimulation from Instagram or social media or sound. And so whether or not it's sound that we're listening to or it's something we're reading, we're always doing something. Even when we're relaxing, we're doing something that gives us dopamine or that makes us think and that can't be good for us. I mean, we already have a problem with lack of sleep and this is just making it worse. So since then, I, I don't work out with music anymore. I don't listen to music when I run. I don't listen to podcasts when I run. It's just silence, just me and my thoughts. I take a walk usually once every day or once every other day where, again, I won't listen to any music and I won't be looking at my phone. I'll just look at the road and look at the buildings that I'm walking by and just enjoy that. And I know I'm sounding a little bit heated or passionate about this and that's because I am. I'm so obsessed with a good night's sleep and being healthy and how that can affect your mental health and everything. And so this lack of silence epidemic is something that I think we're not paying very much attention to like we should. Journaling is super helpful as well. I've done been doing this thing called morning pages, something that I just write down a flow of consciousness in the morning and that lets me figure out what is most on my mind that day or that week. It's also interesting to see how that has affected my output as an artist. Having more silence during the day gives my mind more time to consciously or subconsciously think about the music that I'm making and the message that I want to be sending. And the more silence I get, the more time I'm able to think through that and the more it starts to piece together over time. I've also just been able to make way more music. I mean, in 2020, altogether, I released six songs and I already have three songs, two songs, pretty much completely finished, um, and four that are almost finished so that I can release a new song every three weeks, about every three weeks in 2020. The quality of the songs hasn't gone down. The amount of time that I'm working hasn't gone up. The only thing that's changed is I'm giving myself more time to be in silence and to really relax and let myself think. 
and the quality of the songs do not decrease at all. They, they increase as I'm making more. It is 55 degrees. It's pretty warm, but Nani wants to go inside, so that's all for me today. Definitely let me know if you've experienced anything like this or if you have any thoughts on this matter. I'm super curious to hear what you think, and until next time.